If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello Space and Planet fans! Today we're going to learn about the dwarf planets in our solar system. There are five official dwarf planets in our solar system, and the first is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The other four dwarf planets are located in the Kuiper belt after Neptune. Any items in this rocky and icy belt are called trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs. So before we learn about the five dwarf planets, we need to learn the difference between a planet and a dwarf planet. A real planet will orbit a star or the sun. A official planet must also have enough gravity to make the planet into a sphere or round shape. And lastly, it must clear its orbit of any similar sized objects. So a dwarf planet would fail one of these three criteria. So let's learn about the five official dwarf planets in our solar system. The first dwarf planet in our solar system is Ceres. Ceres is the first and smallest of all the dwarf planets. Even though it might be the smallest, it is still the largest object in the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres is the only dwarf planet located in the inner solar system. Ceres is 296 miles across, which is nearly three times smaller than our moon. The temperature on Ceres is very cold. The daytime temperature is usually minus 73 Celsius, and the nighttime temperature is minus 143 Celsius. It takes 1,682 days or 4.6 Earth years to travel around the Sun. The rotation of Ceres, or the day length, is 9 hours. Ceres has no moons, but has lots of asteroid friends. The next dwarf planet in our solar system is Pluto. It is much further away from our first dwarf planet, as it is located after Neptune in the Kuiper Belt. Being so far away from the sun makes it extremely cold. The average temperature is minus 232 Celsius. It takes Pluto 248 Earth years to make one revolution around the sun. And one day on Pluto takes 153 hours or around six and a half Earth days. Its axis of rotation is tilted 57 degrees, so it almost spins on its side. Pluto also spins in the opposite direction, just like the planet Venus and Uranus. Pluto is 1,473 miles wide. It's nearly just over half the size of our Earth's moon. Pluto has five moons. These being Charon, Nix, Styx, Kerberos, and Hydra. Charon is the biggest of Pluto's moons. Charon is roughly half the size of Pluto. And Charon is the largest known satellite or moon relative to its parent planet. Pluto also has a large distinct heart shaped on it called the Tombareggio. It is the largest, brightest surface feature of the dwarf planet. The third dwarf planet in our solar system is Haumea, and it is just after Pluto. The temperature is approximately minus 241 Celsius. It takes 285 Earth years to make one trip around the sun. And a day on this planet is only four hours. The fast spin distorts Haumea's shape, making this dwarf planet oval shape, looking similar to an egg. Haumea is the first known Kuiper Belt object to have rings, and these are thought to be the consequences of a giant collision. Haumea has two known moons, called Namaka and Hayaka. Namaka is the inner moon, 
and Hayaka is the outer moon. The size of Haumea is approximately 1,080 miles, making it a little bit smaller than Pluto. The next world planet in our solar system is called Makemake. The temperature on Makemake is approximately minus 243 Celsius. The orbit for Makemake takes 305 Earth years to take one trip around the Sun. A day on Makemake is approximately 22 and a half hours, making its day length similar to Earth or Mars. Makemake has one moon. Its official name is S2015 1364721. However, it is nicknamed MK2. Makemake is slightly smaller than Pluto and is approximately 900 miles wide. The last official dwarf planet in our solar system is called Eris. Eris has a highly eccentric orbit around the Sun, which causes its surface temperature to vary from a cold minus 217 Celsius to an even colder minus 243 degrees Celsius. It takes 557 Earth years to make one trip around the Sun, and an axis rotation or one day on Eris is 25.9 hours, again making its day length very similar to Earth and Mars. Eris has a very small moon called Dysnomia. Eris is approximately 1,445 miles across, making it a very similar size to Pluto, but just a little bit smaller. And that's all of the official dwarf planets in our solar system. So we have Ceres in the asteroid belt, then after Neptune in the Kuiper belt, or also known as trans-Neptunian objects, we have Pluto, then Haumea, then Makemake, and then Eris. There are also many dwarf planet candidates that possibly in the near future could be official dwarf planets. This is because the International Astronomical Union, or the AIU, says there may be many, many more dwarf planets after Eris, perhaps more than a hundred waiting to be discovered. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning all about the five dwarf planets in our solar system and all the interesting facts about them. We hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.